you have visions here that maybe you'd never have a chance of seeing, but also different ways of seeing something that's actually on your doorstep. And it's, it's the vision that's encapsulated in a single still picture. And I mean, we're so used to moving pictures, but still that individual image encapsulates a lot more and stays in your memory. And there are surprises always every year. How do you begin to start to pick out the best of the best? Well, it takes a while um, and unfortunately with competitions it's a matter of, of reducing the numbers by getting rid of pictures, which is really sad. Um, but it gets trickier and trickier as you get down to the last few thousand and there is a lot of debate and the judging takes many, many days. Have you got a favourite this year that you're allowed to say? Um, I suppose personal favourites, well, I love the fennec fox, um, it's a, a very poignant picture um, and it's very memorable and it's taken in um, Morocco and it's a, a captive fennec fox and it kind of sums up the, uh, the difficult situation and I think that's one thing the competition does do is have um, that mix of thought-provoking pictures, not just beautiful, but memorable for other reasons, makes people think about conservation issues. <laughs>